Hello and welcome back very few viewers to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero. So yeah, I've been getting my ass kicked around this facility so far. Huh, I think... Well, let's give this over to Billy because so we can even out the inventory. Give him, give him the engraven. So yeah, we'll keep Rebecca control and we'll move on. We gotta go to the last part in this mansion over here on the bottom floor to the only door we haven't been in yet to get our last piece of the statue. So let's get going, shall we? An empty and spooky hallway. Almost as if there'd be something on the way back. We'll just see about that. What's in here? Zombies, that's what. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure we can get in and out of this room without touching a single one. So let's see if we can do this here. Because I don't want to waste any ammo. Ugh. Okay, there's one. Zombie's just creeping his way up to me. Little fucker. And he's almost there, too. Good thing we use our last film. <coughs> There's something written on top of the picture. Of the seats. And that's for the conference room at the start of the facility. Each seat has its own um, determined number, and we have to enter a passcode. So after that, we get the MODISC. And we leave this room. Oh shit, that was fucking close. <laughs> that zombie must have really wanted Rebecca. <clears throat> we'll push Billy back into the door here and run like hell. Because. That's right, leech fucker. I remember when I first played this game, something like a few years ago, those were like the creepiest fucking things imaginable in this whole game. They just, he'd pop up out of nowhere, any room, and just scare the fuck out of me. But now he's just an, an, an annoying inconvenience, basically. I just run by him every time. And now... We're back in the main conference room. We'll leave Billy I'll go. back here to save time. So when we enter the MODISC, we can put in the code. Rebecca up at the stands here. Do you want to give a speech? No? Yeah, I'll, I'll stop fucking around now. MODISC. <coughs> now loading. Complete. Please input code 47. I've never had two numbers before, I don't think. There's no input device nearby. Well, that's because we use the seats. Alright, so 47. I know it goes from left to right. Up here, it goes 0, 1, 2, 3. And then the next row goes 4, 5. So this one's 4. And so if that's 4, 5, right here, then the one next to Rebecca is 6, 7. So we have Rebecca at 4, Billy at 7, and here we go. Click. Click. What does that do, you ask? Opens doors I never mentioned earlier, but the knights are guarding them with their swords but not anymore. We can go out and explore. Except, really... <coughs> excuse me. On. For now, we only need to go through one. And we won't be using the other two night doors for quite a bit, actually. Because one of them leads to the second disc, which we can't go to yet. Oh, we have to wait for Billy to... Come on, Billy. I thought you were badass. Why don't you just leap across that railing? So anyways, we have to get 
much stuff first, uh, three stones, before we go on to the second disc. So we go into this room only, and the other two doors we won't use for a long time. Well, not too long, I hope. I don't want this LP to be weeks and months. All right, I'm pretty sure. I'll oh shit. Oh, uh, of course they take more than one. Reload here. We are really low on ammo. I'll just run to this door. <clears throat> There's no point in even dealing with that zombie because why? One way ammo, two get hurt. I don't want to do either. Thank you. And here's a fun little puzzle here. We'll leave Rebecca up here. I'll go. Yeah. And we'll get Billy to do the puzzle. All right. So basically, we have to ma match this chessboard with the one that's on the desk. Now you can't see it from here, but the only difference is the uh, is the king. At least I think it's the king. It looks like it. Yeah, it's the king. If it was the queen, there would be no king for the white, and they would have lost already, so I don't know what I'm thinking. <coughs> and the last push. <sighs> right up behind the bishop. And there's the buck right there. Switch over to Rebecca, and we'll grab it. It'd be nice if there's something like some shock and ammo under that book. But I'm not going to kid myself. There isn't. And now... Wait, there's something else here. Shock and ammo? Unless a book is shock and ammo, I don't think so. So, we can finally check out this last book of evil. What's inside? Open the book? Well, of course, I need to advance. And there's the last wing. <coughs> ha. What goes on here. And now we can finally put the last two statues on the scale in the main hall and move on in the game. Move on where, you ask? There's two doors open, I said, but we can't go through them yet. And we've went through pretty much every door, so where do we go next? We're about to find out. And finally, some more grenade launcher ammo. Come on! Okay. Which will help me, definitely, since I'm low on shotgun gels. And now, I bet the zombie's out here just waiting for a meal. Yeah, so we're going to have to run like hell. This facility is creepy. <coughs> Oh, so, so, so very creepy. Alright. <laughs> and here's the last statue from earlier. Pick it up. The statue of good and the statue of evil. Now, I just realized something. The one that's good is white. And the one that's evil is black. That's a little... Yeah, I'll just leave that one alone. So yeah, here we go. Putting on the white statue. <coughs> Stupid scale being all crooked. Well, not for much longer. Is that even just about out? Yes, it does. And remember that portrait at the start? It's gone now. Huh. <laughs> I don't like the looks of this dark tunnel, but you and me both know we have to go down it. So, we won't equip Billy with anything because we're going to run by some creepy crawlers next. But I'll leave that till later, so I'll end the video now. So when we come back, going down this creepy tunnel. So until then.